Colin is giving me distract and deflect vibes, okay? Distract and deflect from George Wright. That's all this is giving. Um, Hi guys, welcome to Brains on the Beat. If you're new here, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you're old but goody, thank you for staying tuned to your girl. So in today's video, I want to talk about this whole harassment thing that has been going on with the JLP ever since Mr. Wright beat that woman on camera the JLP have seemed to be using a lot of tactics to deflect and distract or people but we are not forgetting that he needs to resign from that position so it it says Government Senator Kamina Johnson Smith has named former opposition lawmaker AJ Nicholas as the person she said sent her harassing emails. Nicholas and Johnson Smith have served as a legislator in the upper house. In the Senate on Friday, Johnson Smith returned to the issue she first raised during debate relating to the issue of violence against women. Funny enough, they just now started talking about women in problem as far as harassment and violence as, <laughs> that's our alarm system they just came back in um they just now started talking about or addressing violence against women in jamaica ever since that video came out with mr wright beating his common law wife the jlp has had the most females in positions of power ever and they have never spoken out until they were called out about it Johnson Smith revealed that in 2018 Nicola sent her an email which was entitled rape real rape Wow the leader of government business in the upper house Johnson Smith that she asked Nicola Nicholas to cease and desist and Nicholas uh, Nicholson, let me pronounce it right. Nicholson replied that he was satisfied that his email had made her uncomfortable and had hit the spot. This is the stuff that we've been talking about. Like the small stuff lead to big stuff. And if somebody in parliament is actually doing something like this to make a female uncomfortable in her job in her field that is actual or harassment that's crazy in explaining why she did not press the issue Johnson Smith said she did not out of fear and a desire not to distract from and overshadow important international developments Johnson Smith said too that she would not disclose the rest of the emails as she did not want to litigate the matter in the pub in the public space as she had chose not to in the court. The issue stemmed from a 2014 high drama session of the Senate involving Johnson Smith Nicholson, Marlena Malou Fort sparring over a Sato voice comment made by Nicholson about flexi rape. I understand where she's coming from and if I'm in a any job space I've heard over and over especially when I worked in a space where it was it had a lot of male interaction if you're not into what they're into or if you don't laugh at their jokes or if they flirt and you don't flirt back you'll hear that you're a bitch you hear that you're not friendly enough you will hear that you're mean so i understand where she's coming from because small stuff like this like like a man trying to make you uncomfortable especially in a field that you work can lead to bigger issues it's sad that she didn't report it and it's sad that she did not report it because she was fearful however if I'm a woman, and I'm just speaking from my point of view, my perspective, if I'm a woman and I'm in a position of power like she is, I would definitely say something. Like you're in a position where you can actually amend laws, change laws, 
bring to the forefront issues like this that affect women in a workplace because I'm sure she's not the only lawmaker that I've gone through this before I'm sure plenty of other women in legislation or politics have gone through similar things like this so if you're in a position to change it why not change it and small stuff like this leads to bigger stuff like sexual harassment all of that so it's kind of weird to me that she wouldn't report it or she wouldn't say something about it so i find it weird also the timing in which they are talking about this or the timing in which she put this out for people to see people to hear about um, because this came right after george wright beat his common law wife and i find that with the jlp party they have this thing where anytime something bad happens within their party and they get called out for it or they get called out to address it or they get called out to change something they always deflect and distract and quite frankly i'm tired of this and i honestly feel like this is just another tactic to deflect and distract george wright i'm here to tell you we the people did not forget we the people don't care if you're on leave we're still going to be talking about it because something needs to be done he's a person in power that was caught on camera and there are police reports to prove that he beat that woman and the fact that he used the system to his betterment he played the jamaica judicial system okay court system he like played it okay like a puppet and he walked away scotch free definitely leave a bad taste in my mouth leave a bad taste in other women's mouth all over the world that's paying attention and of course other women that have been through domestic violence issues so something needs to be done this whole nicholson and smith thing happy she came out and said something but the timing is giving me distract and deflect vibes okay distract and deflect from george wright that's all this is given um, instead of addressing that issue they came out with another issue uh, which is a big problem don't pile on the issues okay domestic violence matters okay domestic violence matters so that's my thoughts and feelings as far as this is concerned what are your thoughts <laughs> excuse me what are your thoughts do you think that this is a just another way to deflect and distract the people from the whole george rice situation do you think that the timing is off and why she is just saying something about these emails that were sent from 2018 we're in 2021 why now what are your thoughts do you think this is just another tactic for them to deflect and distract comment all your thoughts in the comment section and also tell me what laws do you think need to be implemented so that jamaican women can feel safe in the work space um, because i know a lot of women have a lot of harassment issues sexual harassment issues uh, especially lower class jamaicans people tend to prey on them a lot lower class jamaican women what laws do you think need to be implemented to prevent that from happening you <laughs> and i'll see you in the next video and deuces